In this Trust Wallet app tutorial, you will learn everything that you need to know. First, you will learn how to get started with Trust app. Second, you will see how to buy and sell and trade cryptocurrencies. And third and most interesting one, you will learn how to earn money on Trust app. I'll show you with my own phone and money how to use and earn money on Trust app. So let's go to the phone and I will show you. The first step is that you want to search for this Trust app. You can see that there are more than 5 million downloads and the average rating is over 4.5 star out of 5. So people are absolutely loving this app. You simply install it on your phone and then you are ready to go. I have already installed Trust app so I simply click here open. You can see that I have a little bit of cryptocurrencies there worth $542 at the moment. But when you are starting out, you need to create a new wallet. So let me show you what to do. You will come here to settings and then wallets and then you will create your own wallet right here. It's private and secure and you will have a total control of your wallet. So not any company, not any entity, not any app is controlling this. You are in control of your own wallet. So you click here, create a new wallet. And then you click here, I understand it. If I lose my recovery words, I will not be able to access my wallet. So this is very important. I will explain what it means. You click here, continue, and then it will give you this 12 word recovery phrase. And this is super important. This is super, 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 super important. It says here, never share recovery phrase with anyone, store it securely. For example, I'm showing this specific recovery phrase here, so I couldn't use this wallet. I would need to go back and create a new recovery phrase, because if you ever show your recovery phrase to anyone, they can get your wallet. So take a piece of paper and then take a pen and open that piece of paper, write down your recovery phrase one by one. For example, in this one, one monitor, second sponsor, write it down on a piece of paper and store it securely. Because if you lose it or if somebody sees it and they get the picture, they can steal your money. So this is, you have 100% control. This is not the bank. This is your own cryptocurrency wallet. So you have the control, you have the freedom, but also the responsibility. Nobody can hack your wallet unless you give them your recovery phrase. So store this one very securely. If you compare this to local bank accounts, if you have money in a bank, bank or government, they may take your money, they may steal your money. But when you have money in this kind of wallet, nobody can take it for you. So this is much more secure than most banks. And even if you would lose your phone because you have this uh, private key, you have those 12 words in your paper, you can then recover your wallet anytime as long as you have those 12 words. So those are the most important things. Now you can see that I have created this wallet. It's ready. I have written down the words so they are safe. And I want to mention that you can create as many wallets as you want. You can see I have created two wallets here. And in this wallet too, I have a little bit of money. And also another thing about security, come here to settings, then click here security. You want to enable passcode. So you tap right here and then you can enter a passcode. So if somebody steals your phone, they cannot, uh, let's say, come and they cannot access your wallet so easily. So don't lose your phone and make sure that you are using a passcode. And also there are other security features, but I would say that your private key and the passcode, those are two most important things for beginners. In a moment, I will go through all of these features one by one. So we have wallet, dApps, Dex, settings. So I will go through them in a moment. But first thing that we want to do is take a look at these tokens. You can see there is tokens, finance, collectibles. So what you can do here is click here on the upper hand corner and you can add tokens here on the home screen. For example, XRP, which is Ripple or Polkadot, let me show you, it has added them here. So now if you want to get rid of them here, you will just do this. It means that they are still there in your wallet, but they are just not showing up here on the uh, screen. And then you can scroll down, you can add any cryptocurrencies that you want here. You can see there is a long list of different cryptocurrencies, for example, Dash. Then you can read about each cryptocurrency. Let's say you want to read about BNB, which is Binance coin. You click it and then again, you come here to the upper hand corner and it will give you information. You can see fast and secure decentralized asset exchange, the new cryptocurrency trading standard is here. You can see more information if you click this one right here. 
Then you can also see the history of the price. You can see for week, for month, for year. Now my internet connection is a little bit slow. You can see the market cap and all kinds of information. Then do, you can do the same for other ones. For example, Bitcoin, the biggest one in the world and the strongest one. You can see here, Bitcoin is a cryptocurrency and worldwide payment system. It is the first decentralized digital currency as the system works without a central bank or single administrator. So Bitcoin is of course awesome. And then we have Ethereum here as well. And you can again read information about them and you can educate yourself. Personally, I recommend that you don't play with all of these so-called shitcoins, as some people call them. Uh, only rely on the biggest ones such as uh, BNB, Bitcoin and Ethereum. So when you are starting out, you have zero cryptocurrencies here. So how can you add? There are a couple of different ways and I will show you now the best way. So one way is to buy here and that is not what I recommend because let me show you. You click here Bitcoin, it says buy BTC and there is a moon pay and it gives you a certain rate. You can decide how much you buy. But in my personal opinion, this is not the best way because there is also a cheaper way. And let me actually show you now how you can get cryptocurrencies here for a cheaper price. I will show you a real life example. So if I would want to have around one BNB, which is Binance coin, it would cost me $545 and perhaps even more fees to get this one BNB from here. But I will come to another application right now and I will show you how to do it even better. There is this application called Binance and this is the biggest cryptocurrency platform in the world. You will get a 10% lifetime bonus and discount through the link in the description for Binance. So click the link in the description, create your Binance account if you don't have it already. Let me open Binance for you and I use this myself because this gives you a better rate. As you remember, if you wanted to buy one BNB on Trust Wallet, it cost $545. But let's have a look how much it cost when I buy here. So I click here, buy. I have here Binance USD, which is a stable coin. And let's say that I want to buy, for example, one a BNB. It's only $503. So that is $40 less. That is $40 cheaper. You will save $40. Do you understand? It's much, much cheaper. So I click here. I want to buy for the market price and I have 540 USD here and I will click B buy BNB. You can see here that I have now bought this BNB 1.07. So I was able to buy more BNB when I was using the Binance app because prices are better and cheaper. And now what I will want to do is to transfer this BNB from my Binance app to Trust Wallet. So, and I will show you why I want to do it because it earns me money. I will show you how. I click here withdrawal and then I will put my address. So my Trust Wallet address and let me show you how you can do it. You will come back to your Trust Wallet right here and then you come here BNB. And then you click here receive and you will copy this address right here. You will come back to the Binance. You paste the address right here and I have actually already done it. As you can see BNB Trust Wallet. I click this one right here. I click confirm and let me show you how small the fee is. When I withdraw everything you can see it's worth 540 US dollar. So 1.07 BNB. I pay only, you can see in the bottom, 0 0.0005 BNB. That is like 20 cents. Oh, that is like so small, fee, almost nothing. I will click here withdrawal and that will uh, withdraw my money from Binance to my trust wallet. And once I have done it, we will come back. It was super fast. And as you can see here on trust wallet, I have received this BNB that I send from Binance app to my trust wallet. And that's how easy and fast it is to transfer money to your trust wallet. Now I will show how I will make this money work for me. But before that, I want to mention that you can also send money from trust wallet to any of your cryptocurrency wallets or exchanges. You simply click here next and then you put the recipient address here. How much cryptocurrency you want to send? and memo also if that is required. And of course, in this situation, we don't want to send it away because we just received it. We want to make it work for us. We want to make money even while you are sleeping. So what I will do, I will click here more. And again, this is not an official investment advice. I'm not saying that you must do this. I simply do this myself. You have the responsibility of your money and I have the responsibility of my own money. So I click here more. And then there is this staking. But before that, I will show you stake details. Here you can see different stake 
details, uh, how much money you can stake, how much uh, money it will generate for you and all the other things. Staking has several benefits. First of all, it will make money. You can make money by staking. Second, staking maintains these cryptocurrency systems. There are different kinds of cryptocurrency systems, proof of work and proof of stake. For example, BNB works on proof of stake and Bitcoin works on proof of work. Some people say that proof of stake is more environmentally friendly, so it's more greener option. That's one reason why some people prefer this proof of stake system. So of course you may do something good for the world also by staking your coins. So let's come back here. I click here and I click again more. And here you go. It says stake and then you can choose how much you want to stake. So let me put for example one BNB in this example. And then we can choose the validator here. And when you are doing the staking, you can research which one is the best validator because there's are many different options. And you can see they are giving you different kind of uh, revenue, different kind of income. Uh, 19 APR, let me go back 25, 25, so on and so forth. I believe the trust wallet staking is a reliable one, so I will choose that one. And then I click here, continue. Then it will give me an option to confirm is everything okay. Network fee is very, very small. And then it's around $500. I click here, send. And that's it. Staking is ready. You can see now here that I have staked around 2 BNB, a little bit over 2 and I still have available 0.07 BNB. So now I will show what we can do with this rest of the BNB right here. But before that, I want to give you an idea how much money can the staked BNB generate. So let's say, for example, we have generated $1,000 more or less. And if it generates 30% interest, that is $300 interest. On top of the capital gains, if BNB goes up in value, as I believe, then we will earn, of course, even more. But of course, I want to mention that there are risks. If BNB goes down in value, then we may lose money. So you need to evaluate risks for yourself. Are you in it for the short term or the long term? I am in it for the long term. I believe that in the coming years, BNB is just going to get bigger and the same happens for Bitcoin. But you need to decide for yourself. So let's come here to other tabs. There is DAPS DEX. So this is a decentralized exchange. It seems that not one entity is controlling this. And there is a swap and then there is an exchange. Because let me show you right here. We have a little bit of BNB available. And here we can trade it to other cryptocurrencies. For example, if I want to have trust wallet tokens, I can trade my BNB to 61 trust wallet token. So let's take some other examples. What would you like to uh, buy? What kind of cryptocurrencies would you like to have? You can see there are many, 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 many different ones. Some people like XRP. You can see here, here you can also get XRP and how many XRP we would get? 32. And then there is also an exchange. You can see decentralized exchange and we have here the BNB. So now we can choose which one we would take here for example bitcoin cash that's not so good in my personal opinion bitcoin is much better so you can choose for yourself right here you will see the list of all of them once you have decided you choose how much you want to trade the amount and then you click here buy if you want to do it but at the moment i will just hold this bnb right here because i think it will be strong in the long term of course i believe bitcoin is the strongest but BNB and also Ethereum, they have a good potential for the future. Then there is this fourth tab here, it says dApps. And this is basically for different kind of news, as you can see here, news about exchanges, marketplaces, social, utility staking. Uh, dApps means decentralized applications, but essentially there are a lot of news here, so you can read what is happening in the cryptocurrency space. And if something interests you, you can read more about them. And again, DEX, we already saw settings. You don't need to care much about this. The security is the most important because I want that your keys will be safe. Here you can, of course, follow them on social media, on YouTube, Reddit, Facebook, Telegram and Twitter. But keep in mind, you own your coins. You own your money when you keep them on Trust Wallet not company owns, not the bank, you own and you control your keys, so you have the responsibility. I hope you enjoyed this Trust App tutorial. If you have any questions, ask me in the comments below. I hope you enjoyed this Trust App wallet tutorial. Next, 
go to watch my playlist earn free bitcoin worldwide you're absolutely going to love that playlist you will learn more than seven ways actually more than 10 ways how you can earn free bitcoin worldwide so go right there and you and me my friend we will see it there immediately have a wonderful day